Hello everybody and welcome back as I drag the mouse right away from my base. This is Hark of the Swarm, uh, episode 2. And you know what? You can see it right there in the chat. Uh, I got over it. I'm doing it. I got over the ladder, the, the, the fear. Um, I had my one practice match earlier. And uh, you know what? Today we're going to be doing it versus an actual human. Yep, today it is Harker versus Got Fingers, and Got Fingers is going to be playing Protoss in the bottom left corner, while I will be Terran in the upper right or upper left. So uh, we'll see what's going on. See how we can do in this match. I just played this match, so I kind of know what happens. Um, I would hope since I played it, but uh, I'm going to keep it uh, keep the score hidden until the very end uh, because we'll see I th I think I did pretty good in this match um, <clears throat> and I worked on a lot more uh, I got my macro down a little bit better so so we'll see now I've heard you don't need to wall off versus Protoss uh, in Heart of the Swarm I am not a hundred percent certain about that and I, I've heard that walling off is uh, can be detrimental can actually hurt you in the long run um, but I don't know, I'm doing it here, it's, it's, it's my strategy, it's always been my strategy to wall off, uh, against everybody. Um, if I can't get, uh, if they can't get in my base, that means they can't kill my mineral line, even if it is pitiful at 11, uh, 11 SCVs harvesting all these delicious minerals. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see. So I get the wall off. I'm expecting a scout. Usually by now, Protoss has sent a scout out and gotten through, so I'm happy. I'm happy because I got this wall off. This is completely secure now. Uh, he can't get anybody through here, and I'm busy over here with my little guy, scouting around to see where he is. He's not in the top right corner. And of course, I patterned this so that I would find him absolutely last. So let's see what he's up to. Um, he's got one gateway down, and he's got a cybernetics cord and forge. One gate, cybernetics, and forge, and he's not building probes. He is not building probes. He should always be building probes. That is the biggest thing that I've learned, is as often as you possibly can, you need to build harvesters, harvesting units. Units that can uh, <clears throat> bring in the resources, because if you have more resources, you're going to win. Well, not necessarily. You can have thousands and thousands of resources and not have built anything, so... That would mean you didn't win. But uh, but right now, what's he got? He's got an early robotics facility coming down. Well, what's that for? Colossus? No. No, it's not Colossus yet. It's, it's just... That's right. It's just... Uh, observers. Derp. Can't remember. And what do I have going right now? Right now, two barracks... And I'm working on my second command center. For a fast expand, I've got this guy up here who's just, you know, chilling. He's Union. He's just taking a break by the supply depot. Getting some chips. Having a Coke. Relaxing, you know. He deserves it. He's worked hard enough. So what's going on around down here? Finally getting gas. He's got the robotics facility bringing in Immortals. All right, Immortals, so we're going an anti-mech. Anti-mech build against uh, good old me. Let's see what happens from that. And I've been building Marines. Good. Constant supply of Marines. This little guy gets blocked over here by the supply depot. Have I got my second base up yet? Nope, second base is still building. Oh, and we got our guy off a break, decided to build another supply depot. These first few minutes of the games are usually pretty slow. Everybody usually pretty much does the same thing. Builds their base, techs up a little bit. And this is going right into ooh, an orbital command, because that's the other thing I learned. Get your orbital command as soon as possible. Because orbital commands give you these guys mules, which harvest even faster. Because you can see, I'm not doing too bad. I'm floating a lot of min minerals. I need a bigger army, because what's he got going down here? Oh, he's got stalkers and immortals. I don't see any zealots. And now he's just finally starting to scout. Finally scouting me at the six-minute mark. So he'll 
All he'll find is my army and a big wall off, so he won't actually see anything in here. So let's see. One immortal, one stalker, one base, another immortal, and he's pretty close to supply blocked. He's at 31 of 34. He can't build much more. Oh, cannon goes down defensively. I'm at 3678. I'm happy right now. I'm happy in this game because I've got constant supply. I'm not going to get supply blocked. I can build a ton of marines. I don't have to worry about anything. I've still got marines coming. Now these bases, <clears throat> I'm not. this is what I'm not happy about. I don't have a tech lab down yet. I don't have a uh, reactor of any kind. Where's my production? I've only got two Marines going. I don't have any SCVs. Finally built another SCV. I just got my gas. So I'm finally pulling in gas. But this this base just sat down, just built its first SCV. I'm still a little behind. I would have liked to have had this base completely up and running by the six minute mark. Um, but I did things a little differently. I went two racks instead of, t instead of uh, one racks fast expand um, because I'm trying to play things a little safe here. I've got my little group of scouting marines. What did they do? They went down there for something. We're not entirely sure why. And then what's he doing? Oh, another cannon. Right now, again, if I would have taken these, if I would have taken this group down there, I probably could have blown past those cannons, harassed them a little bit. Oh, excuse me. And done a little bit of damage. Did I miss a? Did I miss an engagement? I must have missed an engagement while I was sitting there talking. Uh, certainly must have. Oh well. Sorry about that. We'll get better. This is new. This is new. I'll, I'll notice things a little bit uh, more in the future and we'll go from there. This is probably going to be the rawest cast that I've done so far, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see where it goes from here. Still kind of slow. I just got my starports down. I got a factory down building... Yep, that's right. I'm putting widow mines out there. Now, I know for a fact that this factory, I think, built two widow mines, and that was about it for the entire match. I did not utilize my factory as well as I should have. But these are things to pay attention to, things to learn, and things to improve on in the next map. I need to work on my macro. I need to work on making sure that I've constantly got things building in the background. This this uh, command center is not building SCVs. I'm at half saturation. I've still got some good ones over here, but it would be better if they were 24 of 24. I'd have tons of minerals, tons of money. I'd be able to just make everything. And the fact that I'm floating 14,000 minerals and 500 gas and not building anything, that, that's something that needs to be improved upon. I got my uh, tech lab down on the starport and a, uh, and a shoot, reactor. Got to get these names down too, but you know, this is learning new and I got a force moving out I caught it this time but not the widow mines no widow mines don't go in front you can't do anything by yourself you just sit there and look cute and you get picked off by stalkers when you just sit there and don't do anything come on marines you can clean up this group now immortals are weak against marines but they still have a pretty hefty attack and they're gonna clean up this group really well but they're not gonna get that widow mine and it's gonna take one out so these things are pretty pretty beat up, but they're still going to come crashing on in towards my base to clean up what I've got left. And what do I have? Not much. I've got a couple of marauders and four marines off of two barracks. I really need to expand on that. They clean up the one uh, immortal pretty quickly and take out the other one, but I'm still losing way more than I should be at this point. I should be building and expanding and not sitting these starports aren't aren't building this uh, factory has not built anything it's just sitting there my orbital commands aren't building I'm not supply block but that's because I'm not building anything and these Union SCVs once more are just sitting around but oh well oh well we'll see what happens I've got these guys sitting in the middle of the map they're guarding guarding this widow mine making sure he doesn't get taken out just sitting there and what's he up to? He's finally up to his second base with one lonely worker. I don't even see it. I don't know where it is. But I've got a lot of stuff incoming now. I've got two more barracks coming. 
two more refineries, a banshee. Uh, hopefully I can put those to good use. A couple marauders and some marines, and finally plus one, plus one upgrades coming in. Those upgrades can make a big difference in the long run. We will see how it goes when... Oh, missed this little uh, hit squad coming in, and they're going to go past all these guys and try and pick at this nexus, and I don't think they'll actually get it. In fact, I think they'll get taken out by these... Yep, they will get taken out by this small group of two immortals and two stalkers. And they don't get anything. They get one immortal down. That's a big waste. One immortal for, I think that was six marines and four stalkers? Or six marines and four marauders? And he's smart. He's come out now. And he's attacking. Now that he's taken out my force, he knows I have nothing. But he's not going to have anything soon because he just got taken out by these widow mines. That's pretty. That's a free kill. I'll take that. But he doesn't know. I've got a bigger base now and it's expanding. So he's going to walk into this mini death ball. This is not so much a death ball at all. More of a, a death... Uh, it's not so much death anything. But... Either way, he walked into it, and it's going to do a sufficient job peeling down these immortals. They're not so immortal against the line of marines. And finally, we have some medevacs on the play earlier, but I didn't notice. I didn't notice that I lost a medevac and I think a banshee to his back door assault from two void rays. Now, luckily, void rays are uh, made of cardboard when it comes to marines. So these marines can pretty much tear through them. I don't know why I picked up a, a marauder there, but I did. He's nice and safe inside the medevac. And meanwhile, is he building up? He's got his one immortal. Apparently his uh, style of play is to one warp gate in a bunch of immortals and a bunch of stalkers. Now, we're at the 17 minute mark. I should have rolled over him by now. But uh, apparently I have not done that. That's very obvious. I've got my still one Manchi. It took some damage, but it's still alive. And a ton of medevacs. This should be a huge group of medevacs. If I pushed in now, even with this small group, who now have combat shields, and they're working on stim, stim at the 17 minute mark. I did that wrong. Should have stimmed up faster. And I have these marines just sitting here because they were built before I managed to get the... Uh, uh, waypoint set to outside my base. And what do we have here? Two void rays just chilling. Chilling by the Zelnaga watchtower. They're just gonna sit there, I guess. And my two uh, widow mines also just chilling. They're kinda sitting here right in the middle of a choke point, so he's gonna have to walk by him if he comes down here, and hopefully any ground units are going to get obliterated by these things. I haven't played much with Widow Mines. I'm still new to this game. You saw from my uh, match versus the computer, so we'll try and fiddle, or, uh, fit those in a little bit more. I think they've got great potential, and I just noticed I'm supply blocked. And I don't think I built any more supply depots this entire game. That's not good. Supp remember, kids, supply. You need supply. You can't have a bigger army without supply. You can max out an army at 200. I am nowhere near that. But he's maxed out at 68. He, his supply is even less than mine, and I'm floating a ton of minerals. This should all be going into a larger army. It should be going into tanks or widow mines. It should be going into more banshees or something off of this starport. Ugh, come on. But, again, we're learning. And, oh, here we go. And he just got taken out a couple of stalkers. A couple of stalkers and his immortals are moving out. And I just ran a group into these void rays. And apparently was trying to attack them with the medevacs. That didn't do very good. Medevacs can't actually attack anything while his immortals moved in and wiped out my group. And they just sat there. He should have continued to move. And he did. There he goes. He's going towards my base. Oh, no. The siege tank just sitting there gets destroyed. Gets absolutely annihilated. But it's okay. Because at the last minute, I lift off the base and save it. And the SCVs, the noble SCVs, don't do anything. They get in there. 
They're running. They, we don't know what they're doing. They're attacking the Immortal. They can do it. They can fight just as well as the Marines can. And we managed to clean up this group of Immortals. I think the SCVs actually killed that Immortal in there. Do I have any kills on the SCVs? Can't tell. Nope. They just did a little bit of damage, but they managed to keep my orbital command from burning down. Good SCVs, good on you. Get it all healed up. Get my army back together. Meanwhile, he's got a line of photon cannons going down, which makes it uh, nearly impossible to get in there, at least impossible for me at the moment. And then what do we have in his main base? In his main base, he has one stalker. One measly little stalker. You'll have to pardon me in the background. That was my cat. She's angry that I'm casting and not paying attention to her. And anyway, let's see here. We've got a line coming down. This medevac finally decides, all right, you know, you guys can get out. You're not paying. And there's an SCV in there, too, just carrying Vespa. It's a peace offering. It must be a peace offering to the enemy. And I dropped off, only to pick them back up and take them over here. Meanwhile, while this group, this lonely distraction squad, decides it's going to go and kill itself on these uh, on these towers or photon cannons that's what they are they're not so much towers but the group in the back makes it through peels through this there's a stim quick stim he's not expecting it he doesn't know what's going on his one warp uh, uh, his air superiority is down his stargate is unpowered there go the immortals oh the stalker goes down before it can even get in now so we have some more unpowered Photon cannons, which lets does do any of these marines get through? One. One marine out of, what, eight? Eight get through, and that's it with the GG. Lots of stuff to improve on in this match. Lots of places to go from here, but that's it. That was the first 1v1 placement match uh, versus a Bronze League player, which uh, he gave me much more of a run for my money than I expected from a Bronze League player. I was expecting maybe Silver League. I don't expect Gold League for myself, but but we'll see. We'll see where that goes. And that's it. So thank you very much for episode, for, well, joining me for episode two um, of Hark of the Swarm. And we'll get back to you with more episodes soon as I go through my placement matches. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.